Why hello there, welcome to this new video. I went to the kingdom today and I bought this old rusty file. Now I'm gonna try and make a knife out of it. So let's go clean it up and I'll tell you more about it. Alright, I just used a steel brush to get rid of most of the rust, but let me tell you about the actual making of the knife. We are using a file to make a knife. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is, how do you file a file? Well, you can't, unless you want to break both files. So that's not going to be an option. A file is made of hardened steel. This means it's thick. When making a knife out of regular steel, you shape it the way you want. You harden it by bringing the blade to a very high temperature and quenching it in water or oil. Then you temper it by bringing the blade to a specific temperature and letting it air cool slowly. Now our file is already hardened. So what we could do is annihil the file so it loses its hardness and we can work with it easily. To spare some time we won't annihil the steel. We'll just use even thicker tools. This way we only need to temper it after shaping. When using this method it is very very important to cool the blade when working with it. If the blade gets too hot it will lose its hardness and the work will be ruined. So keep it cool. Now that most of the dirt and rust is gone, we'll get rid of the plastic handle. After that, I try to get rid of the rest of the rust by putting the blade in coke. The coke usually reacts with the rust and cleans the metal surface. I just freehanded the design on the knife. It ended up changing throughout the project as you will see later in the video. The weather was great, so I decided to bring the project outside and work on it there. It was time to clamp up the file and grind the basic shapes. Don't forget your massive syringe to keep the steel cool. Also don't forget your safety gear, since end grinders are dangerous tools and can mess up your eyes, lungs, ears and pretty much everything. This was the first time for me to use the angle grinder, so I tried to get the hang of it, and luckily the result was fine.
After I finished the basic shape, I just drew the final lines for the grinding later. Then came the endless process of grinding this thing flat and smooth. Again, don't forget your safety gear, as these things can grind your hands away. It was also my first time on the belt sander. I didn't have one myself, so I had to borrow it. That's also why I blurred the owner's information. The grinding was the largest part of this project, as the blade kept heating up and I had to cool it like every 30 seconds or so. This massive magnet also came in pretty handy for flattening the sides. When the sides were finally flat, I had to create the bevel of the blade. I also freehanded this, which might have been a bad idea. Luckily the outcome was great, but it could have been more precise. And welcome back. It's been a year since last clip. Um, I've left the project for a while because the sanding just took a ton of time and the video is actually edited up to here as well. Anyway, I recently picked up the project again and I sanded it even more. 
uh, which I didn't really bother to show you because you've seen enough sanding. I just want to finish this project because it's taking so much time and I want to make a second better knife. To be honest, I'm not really proud of the sanding I have at this moment, so I hope I can fix that after tempering. Basically, this is not my finest job. I just want to have it done. And another thing, I know it's annealing now and not annihiling. I made that mistake last year. Um, yeah. So let's continue. We're going to temper the blade now and I'll catch you when it's done. I tempered the blade in two cycles, each on 204 degrees Celsius for an hour. It leaves a nice bronze color which will sand off straight away. I hand sanded the blade to its final finish. I didn't really have a lot of grits, so I went from 240 to 2000. Ah, uh, the finish could be better. For the handle, I just used some scrap pieces of wood and I cut them roughly into shape. In preparation for the glue up, I roughed up the surface of both the wood and the steel. I attempted to make the finished blade look better by polishing it with my Dremel. It did help slightly. I quickly covered up the blade and it was time for the glue up. Before the glue up I just sanded at the top of the handle as this would be hard to reach without scratching the blade afterwards. I just used some epoxy resin that I had lying around and it worked pretty good, although it's not really the best option. I didn't clamp the pieces perfectly so my knife ended up with a little gap in the handle. To shape the handle, I used my belt sander jig. If you want to see how I made that, check it out in the description. To spare me some time on the hand sanding, I also slightly flattened the side of the handle. At first, I had to figure out my setup, but after that, I sanded the handle nice and smooth. As a wood finish I just used some olive oil, as I didn't have any boiled linseed oil or any other type of wood finish. It was almost done, I just had to sharpen it, and I did this using an old cheap kitchen whetstone.
Now, it isn't the sharpest knife because of the cheap stone and also probably the wrong technique, but it definitely works. And after all these months, it's finally finished. There we go. If you have any feedback, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.